Hi everyone, it's Claire Stone with your weekly Angel and Tarot Guidance and today is the 19th of July and the first deck that I am drawing from today is Radley Valentine Angel Tarot. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and see what is coming through for the start of this week. Okay, fab, fab card. Great start to the week. We have got the Magician. The Magician card is the ultimate law of attraction card. It's saying whatever you are emotionally invested in, what you are focusing your attention on, the words you are speaking are incredibly potent at this time and you are manifesting your own reality. So it would serve us all well if we try our best to think about what is going good for us, what we've got to be grateful for so that we can manifest more abundance through being positive and being very, very grateful. This card says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. So this card is saying something that you need, you're going to get it. Um, life is magical. Fab card. Loving that for the first first draw for this week. Let's see, what have we got coming through for midweek? Okay, the Knight of Cups. So this card, if it represents a person in your life, uh, it can sometimes come through, meaning that you are being given an invitation, often a romantic invitation, um, however, this card can mean many things and it's a very nice card and it's all about emotions, wearing your heart on your sleeve and how you communicate what you are feeling. It's a wearing your heart on your sleeve kind of a message. So don't be surprised if someone comes to you pouring out their heart or you receive an invitation um, it's a good healing card for the emotion. So it's, this is another positive card. And what's really interesting about the Knight of Cups is the fact that this has come out for midweek because the 22nd of July is a feast day of Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> and of course, the Knight of Cups, he is the seeker of the Grail, um, the Holy Grail, the, the Christ codes. And actually thinking about it, um, the magician card which has archangel raziel that is merlin who is also the protector of the divine feminine wisdom the sisterhood of the rose so those cards are sneakily um linked i like that so they're beautiful cards um focus on what you want to bring in and be open to receiving love i also feel like there's forgiveness in the air as well so if there's been some kind of um quarrels or unrest going on i really feel that that midweek there's going to be some kind of healing energies uh, around us all in general to to just help restore balance and humanity as well so i'm going to do as an angel card next and see what angel have we got supporting us this week Gabriel. The card says leadership and it says on it, it's time for you to assume your leadership powers and guide others. So this is about you standing in your power, speaking your truth, because that's who Gabriel is. Gabriel is the ultimate messenger angel. So I'm thinking, is there some kind of good news uh, in the earth, something, uh, something going to be revealed? to us that's really positive and helps us to progress and move forward. Gabriel is also the angel of creativity, uh, the sacral chakra, and helping us to express ourselves, which again is emotions, expressing ourselves through our soul, which is through creativity, it's through writing, um, it's through painting, it's through music, it's through whatever feeds your soul, whatever comes from your soul. And Archangel Gabriel really helps you with that. That's why Gabriel is the patron saint of writers and artists. Um, and also Gabriel uh, is the angel who announced the 
the birth of Jesus as well. So good news, good news is in the earth. Fab card. And I'm going to finish off with a um, goddess card from Colette Baron reed So let's give them a shuffle. And uh, what is actually really interesting about that Gabriel card is my neighbour has been round with a calla lily so that I can plant it in the back. And this is the flower of Gabriel because it represents Gabriel's trumpet messages. So I should have known when I got that lily today. So let's see what goddess guidance have we got. And if you are interested in Mary Magdalene, I will be uploading a meditation to my YouTube channel and it will be sent directly out to people who are subscribed to my newsletter. So just seek me out if you would like this meditation. Ooh, we've got two goddess cards and I am liking it. Matt. The goddess of justice and truth. The Egyptian goddess who weighs the scales and if your heart is pure and true, then it will weigh the same as light as a feather. So I am actually really, really happy with that card because it really fits in beautifully with the Knight of Cups and representing that truth and you tapping into your own spiritual truth but messages of truth being revealed, clarity being revealed. And the other card was Ocean. And Ocean is an African goddess. Again, goddess of water. We've got all this positive, juicy water. It's like we've had this big boulder in our way. And what does water do? It always finds a way to flow. If you surrender, the water will carry on moving. Um, keeping that life force going but I feel like that boulder's being removed now and this water is going to be flowing in abundance and uh, the card says generosity and she is just basking in the sun like she is receiving and this goddess she is known for fertility love um she's the sacred feminine mother archetype in my opinion but it, it feels like she's just like really receiving that masculine, that sun, because the sun is the masculine. That's what she looks like she is doing there. Oh, generosity. So be kind. Wear your heart on your sleeve. Give to others. Give people compliments. The more you give, the better you're going to feel. And then, and we do not give to receive, but when we do give, we always receive back. That's just one of those funny things that the universe does. So it looks like it's going to be a really great week. Uh, a lot of clearing, a lot of healing. Be open to receiving and have a wonderful, blessed week. See you soon, guys.